Now create a contact us form. It's actually made up of three sections. The first section is the actual form that they'll fill out, the contact us. And you can see it here. It's just a basic form. We've included our header file and our footer file, and I've called it contactus.php. And if we look at it inside a website, you can see that this is what it would wind up looking like. Now, if we want the second phase is going to be to actually generate and send the email to the appropriate email address. We'll build that in a second. The third part, its purpose is to let the person who's going to be sending us the email through the form know that the email has successfully been sent to us. So what we're going to build is a contact us send.php. You notice I have prefixed all these files with contact us, and then it's either just contact us.php, contact us send, or contact us thank you. That way they're grouped together in the file list when we go to process it. Now I have an empty PHP tag at this point, and I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is make sure that someone doesn't get to this file accidentally. So I'm going to write a simple if statement. I'm going to say is set. And what we're looking for in this case is the post variable and if the submit button has been pressed. If the submit button has been pressed and therefore is set, then we'll process the email. Now, if someone has come to this file without using the form and therefore they haven't pressed that submit button, we're just going to redirect them. So we have an else block which says that if this is not this statement in our if statement is not true. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the header command and I'm going to define the location. By specifying the location, it's going to redirect the browser to a different file. I'm going to say contact us.php. And I'm going to make sure I have a semicolon at the end of the line. Now sometimes if I have additional things below this page, I want to make sure they don't run it. I can also use this exit command, which makes sure I stop all processing, which is completely fine. We've already told the browser to go to this contact us file. Now what happens if we're going to actually submit this? Well, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build the message part. Now our contact us form has several fields which we're taking information in from. We're requesting the person's name, their email address and their comment using the input of name, email, and comment. So the easiest way to build this is to create a variable. Let's say dollar sign msg, short for message, equal. I like to I could easily just put in the name of each field, but then it'd be really confusing because then we don't know who and what um, it's referencing. So what I like to say is something like name and then I need to add one string to another when I'm putting it inside of this variable. So I'm going to say dot, and dot is what allows us to combine two pieces of information together into a string. Then I have to say where am I going to get my next piece of information. Dollar sign underscore post, and I'm going to pick name. Then I want to go to a new line so I can get so I can list their email. I'm going to say dot quote backslash n the, the notice I use double quotes that's because I have what's referred to as an escape character and this escape character is backslash n is for a new line which basically is like hitting the enter key or the return key I'm go to a new line I need to add more to this variable in this case I'm going to add email this is going to allow us to know who to reply to once again dollar sign Post. One thing I know is that PHP is case sensitive, so this must be underscore post and post all in upper capital letters. If we were to write lowercase letters, it would not work. I'm going to copy and paste because it's easy to do. Another section for comment. And then since I'm at the end of my variable I'm defining, use a semicolon to exit the command.
Now a variable is always going to take whatever's on the right hand side of my equal sign and insert it into the, the variable on the left hand side. That's how variables work. Every time I run this command, because different users are going to put in different names, emails, and different comment messages, the value of this variable is going to change, or it's going to vary every time we run. And that's exactly what we want to do. Save as we go. Now we're going to, now we're going to send an email. Sending plain email with no HTML is very easy in PHP. They have a, have a built-in command called mail. And mail is going to take a minimum of three what we call parameters for things that we're going to send to it to make it work. The first is who we're going to send the email to. So you put in a valid email address. In this case, I just chose example at example.com. You would obviously want to replace it with your email address. The second thing we're going to put in is a subject line. This is going to be the subject of your email that you normally see when you go and check your email. And the final thing is going to be a message. The message we created in this variable up here, say dollar sign msg. You might say, well, how come there's a dollar sign there? Well, all variables in PHP have to start with a dollar sign. And that's how we can tell them right away as a difference from variables versus the commands like mail or header. The next thing we need to do is after we sent this email, we want to redirect them to the contact us thank you page. Say header. Make sure I have a semicolon at the end of my header line. And this is just redirecting us to the appropriate page. Now upload that. And then we can test it out. Now we're here, we're going to fill out our information. We're going to click to send the comment. And we got a thank you message. Now we need to check our email program to see if we actually got email in. Now, if we come here and check, you notice that we got an email in. We open it up. It has a name. It has my name that I entered in here. The email, the email that I uh, said I was sending it from, and the comment that was put in here. So everything is working just as we expect. In addition, we also have our thank you page from successfully receiving the email.